Hi everybody, Mrs. Bartz here, and I'm excited because I'm at school today. Um, we had lots and lots of artwork that we made this year that we haven't taken home yet. The plan was to hang it in the hallways and do a great big art show, but we never got the chance because school closed early this year. But I decided we could still have a virtual art show. So what I'm gonna do is take a small video of all the projects that we've done this year. You're gonna notice that a few of them are incomplete, but I still wanted to include them because of how hard everybody worked and how beautiful their artwork is. If you're wondering when you can take your artwork home, I'm gonna be passing that out first thing at the beginning of the school year. So I hope that you enjoy the art show and I hope that you see some of the beautiful artwork that you've made and that you're very proud of it because I know I'm very proud of all the amazing artwork that we have here at Highland Elementary. Our texture birds were made by kindergarten and they learned that texture means the way that things feel. So they got to use all sorts of textures and they put those together to create these really cool birds. Our kindergarten group continued to learn about texture when they created these fall owls and they focused on the textures on their feathers and feet and beaks. In this project, our kindergartners focused on shapes. They've also worked with a variety of different media. And in this one, they used watercolor paint and oil pastels. In this kindergarten project, the kindergartners were able to use their finger to create the fur for their puppies and then add oil pastel for the details. I love how even though they're all similar, they turned out so different from one another. Our kindergartners learned this year how to identify and draw different types of lines. So after they drew different types of lines, they were able to add some rainbow watercolor to their project. They added a frame and drew even more lines with chalk around their frame. To finish up our kindergarten section of our virtual art show, we have our crayon sculptures. So kindergartners learned about 3D art. They also learned about color and the color in the order of the rainbow, their primary colors. We talked about secondary colors and they really loved making their 3D crayon sculptures. Our first graders created these really cool jars of lightning bugs. And for this project, they used crayon watercolor resist. So 
So they colored their lightning bugs using crayons. They colored their jar with crayons. Then they used watercolor paint to paint the jars in the background. And that watercolor wouldn't stick to where the crayon drawings were. Here we have our first grade hot air balloons. These are one of my favorite projects that our first graders made this year. They learned about blending colors for the background. They learned about patterns and designs for their balloons. And then if you look closely, the passengers of those balloons are the first graders themselves. So we have a picture of them inside the hot air balloon. Our first graders channeled their inner Dr. Seuss to create these sneeches. So on this project, they learned a lot about texture, about how texture can be actual, like the feathers in the sneeches hair, or it can be implied like the designs on the sneeches bellies and necks. We read the book Solomon Crocodile, and then we drew our own Solomon Crocodiles. And we really focused on recreating the picture of Solomon and trying to get our drawings to look like the illustrations in the book. And also, our first graders worked on blending and layering watercolor paint. For their OWL project, first graders got to experiment with different types of media. So they used oil pastel, they were able to use paint, they got to use their um, paintbrush to experiment with different brush strokes to make um, their owls look like they have feathers. We learned about the element of art value and about how that means the lightness or darkness of a color. So for our value project, we made an ice cream cone with four different scoops that had four different values. Our second graders made these really fun, bright, and colorful rainbow fish. The only paint colors that they had to work with to create these were their primary colors. So all the secondary colors that we see have been mixed and painted. These fish have a lot of layers and they turned out really nice. Next up is our second grade oil pastel hot air balloons. Each layer of the hot air balloon is a pattern. They were able to draw and paint the lines of their hot air balloon and then fill the rest of it in with patterns using oil pastels.
For second grade's fall leaf project, we talked about the principle of design movement and how adding those swirly lines in the background made the leaves appear to be moving. We talked about warm colors and cool colors. So the watercolor paint that was used in the leaves are warm colors, while the background has cool colors. Our second graders were able to study and look at Vincent Van Gogh's sunflowers painting and make their own project. This second grade project turned out very cool. It is a self-portrait, a digital self-portrait of each second grader. And then they compiled a list of their favorite things and they cut those out and they glued those and arranged those around themselves. They really turned out nice. This second grade project is winter birds. So we have some birds sitting on birch trees. Our second graders were able to use lots of different types of art medias. They used temper paint, they used watercolor paint and did a watercolor resist with crayons on the bird's feathers. We built it up from the background In third grade, we looked at Ming vases from the Ming Dynasty. We really studied the content of the vases. Some had dragons, some had flowers, some had just different designs, geometric designs and lines. And we designed those. And then we added some cherry blossoms with temper paint. In this project, our fish in a fishbowl, our third graders talked a lot about the use of space in art. So we focused on a foreground in the front, a middle ground in the middle, and a background in the back. Third graders studied the artist Claude Monet, and we really looked at his water lily paintings. And then we created our own water lily painting. We focused on blending colors and layering paper. And the water lilies actually kind of pop up off the page just a little bit to give it a little bit um, of a 3D look. For their fall project, their graders were able to look at different types of leaves and choose one to sketch out. They added a patterned background behind their leaves and colored and blended with oil pastels. In this project, our third graders studied texture and created a texture rocket. You'll notice that there's tissue paper, there are pom-poms, there are glittery um, foam pieces. And if you look closely, in the rocket ship, you'll notice that there's a passenger, an astronaut, which is actually a self-portrait of the third grader that created it. In this project, third graders made a self-portrait of themselves. They also layered their paper while they cut it out to create a shadow. We really talked about positive and negative space 
in this project. This fourth grade project turned out really cool. We really studied radial symmetry and created different circles with radial symmetry in each circle. And then we cut those circles into fourths and arranged them on a square. It turns out really neat as they're displayed together, almost like a quilt. Fourth grade students got to do a weaving unit on wooden looms this year. In this project, our fourth graders studied 3D shapes and learned how to draw those 3D cubes. We used a vanishing point and we also studied value, which is the lightness or darkness of a color. So as you look at their cubes, you're gonna notice that some areas are shaded darker, some more medium, and some very lightly shaded. In this project, our fourth graders were able to look at several types of bridges and choose one to sketch out on their project. They used warm color, watercolor paints for the sky and cool colors for the water. We talked about space and the different layers of space in art. For this project, fourth grade created optical illusion art. They also chose two colors that were across from each other on the color wheel, which makes those complementary colors. They used shading to make their optical illusions look like they pop out from the paper. This fifth grade self-portrait, we didn't have a chance to complete it, but it was just too cool not to share. So you'll notice that half of their face is a printed picture and the other half is a drawing. They really focused on shading and blending. They were working on a painted background, which a few of them got finished, but several didn't get their picture glued to their background before school let out. Fifth graders studied the order of the color wheel and learned why it's important. And then they made Zentangle color wheels with patterns and designs. In this project, our fifth graders learned about implied texture and that even though it may not feel like texture, you can draw it to make it look like texture. Then they chose either a warmer, cool color scheme to paint their background. This fifth grade project is actually radial symmetry using the fifth grader's name. So I have Sawyer's up here for an example and it looks like a really cool design, but when you start folding it and looking at each individual section, you'll notice that it's actually their name that they then traced again and again in radial symmetry. So these turned out really, really cool. And I love the designs that their names made. Our fifth graders made some op art 
with a wavy checkerboard pattern with a ribbon running through it. And they painted that ribbon using watercolor paint in the order of the color wheel. Sixth graders did a contour drawing of their own hand and then they painted their background using primary colors and mixing those to create secondary colors and then made a weaving and in their weaving the complementary colors from the color wheel are crossing. So they really talked, we really talked about a lot of different elements of art for this project. Sixth graders made dream catchers and then got to melt some crayons for the bottom. I know they had a great time with the hair dryer and hot glue gun and crayons for this project. In this project, our sixth graders focused on line designs and value. So you'll notice that the background has paint that goes from dark to light. So they blended their colors and mixed white with their colors to change the value. And they created black and white zentangles. We're gonna wrap up our art show with sixth grade's paper mache fish projects. Some of the kids didn't get to put their finishing touches on the fish, but they were sure looking good. <laughs>